So in this video, we'll continue adding more things to the charities page. So uh, we've already added the image and description. So now let's go off and add uh, a spot for their phone number. Uh, and we'll just uh, phone number label. And then we'll add something for their description. position these a little bit uh, just so we have a bit more room because the descriptions might be pretty long and then give this kind of a lot of room just in case we have a lot of information great so let's go to the blocks and we'll do more or less the same thing we've been doing before so for the phone numbers uh, text I'll copy actually what we did before and change the phone number and then I'll also do the same thing for the uh, description label so to be the description so now the screen opens the lowest picture will be the logo from the charities table uh, at the row that we've selected same thing for the charity name now the phone number now the description so uh, we're gonna go back to the design go to screen one because we need to start at the beginning of our app and hit play. I'll click on the first one and then we see uh, the image of our charity, the name of it, its phone number, and a description. Well this is good, uh, but wonder if I want to get back to the list of charities. I can't really do that yet. So let's add a button to be able to return. So I'm going to add a button here, uh, click to the top, and then we'll say uh, We'll just call it a back button. I uh, will go to our blocks. Oh, and I guess we'll rename uh, this button to be called uh, back button. Go to our blocks. And then say when the back button is clicked, we'll navigate to uh, screen one. So now let's go back to screen one and test this out. We'll hit play. I'm able to click on this. I'm able to see the information about the charity. I can go back to screen one and then go to the second charity and actually see more information about it. So this allows me to be able to explore all the different charities uh, that we've selected. Uh, 